another visitor. This time, it's a female. This is just where he wants her. Time to begin the show. First, he expands his pupils alternately. It's an oddly mesmerizing display. A spot of limbering up, accompanied by a weird and wheezy call from deep in his throat. It's time for his grand performance. He waves his wing like a matador's cape. to be transfixed. This is certainly eye-catching, but it seems he needs to do more. Generously, she drops him a hint. It's the bird equivalent of a bouquet of flowers. It's all going so well, it's time to get physical with a few headbutts to her chest. One final flourish to cap weeks of effort. In the dead of night, a brown kiwi leaves his burrow for the pitch dark of the primeval New Zealand forest. is a most distinctive and peculiar type of bird. He's about the size and weight of a stout chicken, but he's more closely related to an ostrich. To help them locate underground prey in the soil, Kiwis are the only birds in the world to have nostrils at the tip of their bills. It's more like a snout, perfect for rooting around for grubs. But right now, the kiwis here have something else on their minds. A female sings an alluring serenade. Love is in the air. These birds are part of a habituated group, which means we can film intimate details of their private behavior.
Brown kiwis often mate for life, and females are very fussy. In kiwi couples, the ladies are normally the ones in charge, but he's happy to follow her around. He flirts by grunting and tapping her bottom with his beak. She takes a lot of persuading, but eventually succumbs to his charms. These are Uganda cob, the most abundant antelope in the western Rift Valley. Somehow, they find time to indulge in a surprisingly complex mating ritual. The cob have a dedicated mating ground known as a lek. It's where males gather to flaunt themselves and the females turn up to pick a mate. want to hold the best spot. To win it, they have to fight. It's all to impress the ladies, who are very picky when it comes to choosing the right mate. Females are after the buck with the best blood, the strongest male holding the most coveted position right in the middle of the lek. The female chooses her mate and then allows him to test her scent for hormones to confirm she's ready to mate. A female comes into season every 20 days or so, but is only receptive for a couple of hours, so there's not much time for flirting. Job done. The exchange of genes is complete. Patagonia's male wandering tarantulas are searching for love. This male spent four years reaching maturity, and in two months, he'll be dead. He's in a serious hurry. He'll barely eat or sleep. This is what he's looking for. Silken threads left by a female, impregnated with her pheromones. Chemical love letters advertising her availability. They lead him to her lair. She can live for 30 years. She's seen many suitors in the past. He taps a seductive rhythm to tempt her out. She replies. For him, this is a very dangerous liaison. He eyes her up. 
If he's not her type, she'll eat him. But this male has a talent for seduction. tenderly strokes her body. She relaxes, opening her fangs, allowing him to move closer. He carefully delivers his packet of sperm. During mating, the female falls into a trance-like state. She stays like this for several minutes. He has to make a quick getaway before it wears off. But all is not quite as collaborative as it seems. This pack strategy works well for the alpha couple, but not quite so well for last year's offspring. The youngsters could have their own pups, but for the alpha couple, that would mean more mouths to feed and less for their litter. So the alpha couple will actively discourage last year's offspring from mating. But one of their daughters has other ideas. Skulking behind the pack is a lone male wolf. He has no territory of his own, but follows the family, scavenging leftovers and looking for opportunities. He spotted one, the young daughter. The intruder could be in with a chance, as long as he's not caught. The pack leader could kill him. While the pack is distracted by a bison, the temptation for the young female is too great, and she sneaks away to join the mysterious stranger. It's risky, but it could be her only chance to get close to a potential mate. lock together, unable to separate for half an hour to ensure fertilization. Not so good if you're about to be caught by your dad. The affair was always destined to be a short one. After a painful separation, her new mate is chased away with his tail between his legs. <laughs> 